afternoon. It is 12 p.m. So yeah, definitely afternoon. Um, just, you know, taking a trip to Cosmo Prof. Just got my Starbucks. Um, I got a grande vanilla iced or a vanilla cream cold brew. Um, three pumps mocha, vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top, and then mocha drizzle, which I cannot even see in here, so I don't know if they forgot to put it, but that's okay. So yeah, I got grande, normally I get venti's, but it's Saturday, I don't need that much energy. Um, so I'm heading to Cosmo Prof right now to grab some color and a prize for one of my students. Um, decided to just do a little vlog, see how it goes, we'll see if I post it. Um, definitely haven't done vlogs in a minute, so... from my rewards because I get people edible arrangements whenever there's something happening. So I have a reward. So I called to uh, let her know or let them know that I wanted to get it. And it's gonna be an hour long. So I don't wanna go home because I know if I go home, I am going to get lazy and I'm not gonna wanna go back out. So first I'm gonna go to Filiberto's to get myself a breakfast burrito. Maybe I'll show you guys what I got from Cosmo Prof. And yeah, okay, we'll see. I got my burrito. Hello. So I am home, um, time to eat. And then I'll show you guys what I got from Cosmo Prof. Back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Cosmo Prof. Um, it's actually already been an hour since I ordered my thing, but she said we're open till five or whatever. So take your time. Don't rush. So I'm going to take my time and not rush. So Cosmo Prof is, oh, I just stepped away. Cosmo Prof is where I went first. I'll show you guys what I got. We'll start with myself. So I got some lavender mint leave-in conditioner. This is in the tea tree line by Paul Mitchell. This is one of my favorite products. It is just, like I said, just a leave-in conditioner but it is so hydrating. My hair just soaks it all up. I actually got one for me, one to share. Lavender Mint is my absolute favorite for conditioning. Um, if you have dry hair, you should try out the Paul Mitchell Lavender Mint line because it is all hydration from there. I'm not a fan of the Lavender Mint scent, like not a fan at all. I hate the smell, but it works so well. Like I have to just use it. If you're looking for a hydrating shampoo and conditioner, you can grab their shampoo and conditioner too. But also, if you aren't into the smell of it, like me, um, the Clean Beauty Hydrate is so good. Like, my hair felt so conditioned whenever I was using that. So right now I'm using the Awapui Well Ginger, but as soon as I'm out, I am going to stock up on that Clean Beauty Hydrate because that one is so good death recommend. Next, I posted a short of me getting my hair done by Sarah. And so I have these pieces in my hair and we only did like three sections just to add a little bit of like pop in my hair. Um, so I put 6BR and I diluted it with some clear from the Demi um, just for like a more kind of rosy blushy color. Um, it's kind of faded out, which is fine because that's the point of me doing it. I like to just pop on colors. Uh, from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pink. I'm going to dilute it a little bit because I can't really dilute it too much or else it won't show on this level. Um, but I'm just going to put some pops of pink in my hair. So I got some Pop XG pink from Paul Mitchell. I might make a short on that. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can watch the video. Um, so the lavender mint is $9.50. I got it for $9.21. Um, so those were $9.21 each. And then the Pop XG, $8, got it for $7.75. And then next, I got these products or tools, whatever, 
um, for my student because we played Kahoot. Um, I'm a learning leader for Paul Mitchell, the school Phoenix, if you guys didn't know that. So I teach people how to do hair. I have my students and before their written test out, I have them play Kahoot. So we played it once so far and the, um, the student that got first place, I always give them a prize. So this is her prize. So first thing I got her was a Paul Mitchell apron. So this is it. I'm not gonna open it just because I don't want her to have an opened package. Um, but I got her the Paul Mitchell apron because an apron does not come in their kits. Um, so I just got her that just in case she wants an apron to protect her clothing, you know. $16.49 um, or $17, got it for $16.49. Um, I know at the school they can get them for $15. So definitely did not save money on that, but it's okay because they never have aprons at Cosmo. So I saw it and I was like, just pop it in. And then I also got her um, this little baggie and it has the Awapui Wild Ginger Shampoo and Conditioner in it. It's Awapui Wild Ginger, it smells great but it is their Mirror Smooth line. I like the Mirror Smooth line, but it is a little bit heavy. The shampoo and conditioner I think are fine. I'm trying to remember from the last time I've used it. It's been a couple years, but I think the shampoo and conditioner are fine. I believe it was just, um, they had a product and it was like, I think it was kind of like a primer or something to prep the hair. Yes, and that one I believe was really heavy. So I think the shampoo and conditioner are going to be okay for her. I love the Aupui Wild Ginger line anyway, so the shampoo is going to be great. It lathers so well, and it is sulfate-free, um, and it is going to help to just smooth down the cuticle, make it nice and shiny and soft. Came in this little baggie. So that was $17.46. And then next, um, we do a lot of hand painting, do a lot of balayage whenever they are on the clinic floor. So I decided to get her some from Mar Color Rushes. Um, we do have Paul Mitchell ones, but you have to order them online. And I was at Cosmo Prof, so I was like, I'm just gonna get from Mar. They are able to use from Mar uh, items or tools in our school, um, especially for hand painting because you know you have to order them online. It's not really convenient. This is a set of three, and this was. $8.73, originally $8.99. The spray bottles that you get whenever you go to a Paul Mitchell school um, are like actual like sprays. So you have to like pump. Well, I guess with every spray bottle you have to pump, but like it just comes out like a spray. Like a spray, I guess. <laughs> so I got her this from Mar Mist, um, Mist bottle. So the water just shoots out a little bit softer. It's not so aggressive and yeah, it's more of a mist opposed to just a spritz out. This was $12.99. I got it for $12.60. That's all I got from Cosmo Prof. I think now I'm going to go to Edible Arrangements to go get my fruit. I've been talking about my fruit all day. But I'm going to go ahead and go to Cosmo Prof to get my fruit. And then I might do some waxing whenever I get back because my eyebrows are not looking cute these days. I need to wax them. So you guys may see that. Hi, I am like all on the side because I'm driving, but I am headed to go get my fruit. So I had to do a clothing switch, whatever, I don't know how to say it, outfit change, whatever. Um, because let's be real, I live in Arizona and it is so hot outside, it's over 100. So I should not be wearing a sweater, even whenever I walked into Cosmo Prof, the, um, my AC is probably so loud. Um, even whenever I walked into Cosmo Prof, like the girls were like, you're not hot in that sweater. And I was just like, I am hot, yes. But I keep my apartment so cold that like I don't even think about how hot I'm gonna be whenever I walk out because it's so cold in my apartment. So I'm like, it's fine. And then I step outside and I'm just like, oof, no. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and change because it is way too hot to be wearing a sweater in 100 and something degree weather. So. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go get my fruit. I'm gonna turn on my AC because I'm dying, it's hot. But just wanted to turn it off real quick so you guys could actually hear me. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm home. I went to Edible Arrangements and turns out the location I went to was not the location I ordered from. So I walked in, I asked, said my name and she was like, mm, I don't have an order for you. I don't remember anyone calling or whatever. And I was just like, Checked the email, definitely was not that location. So I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And so I went to the actual location and I ended up getting them. So
So I ended up being on the opposite side of where I originally went. So that's okay. I am just gonna stick these in the fridge, but I do wanna have one. I'm not hungry because I had my burrito earlier, but you know, I can't resist one. Ooh, so yummy. Okay, but like, yeah, like I said, I'm not really hungry, um, but I definitely want to have one. I will take you, sir. Oh, no, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They go in the fridge or the freezer? I don't know, maybe the, I have no idea. I'll figure it out. I'm sure it's on there, but I just need one. Cold. But so good. That was so good, but I put them in the fridge. Um, I have this box here of a chair that I need to put together. So you guys are gonna watch me do that, I guess. Welcome back. This reminds me of a video I made where I showed you guys how to put together the Ikea like Helmers, I think it was Helmers, um, like cabinet thing, drawer thing. <laughs> And you guys, that video was a hit for some reason. Like, I have so many views, so many likes, so many comments on it. And I'm just like, should I start like buying things from Ikea and maybe Amazon and like putting them together? Because apparently like people like that stuff. So yeah, um, go watch that video. It's just a video on how I put it together. I didn't think I was that helpful with it. I thought it was gonna be like the biggest flop of the video, but like turns out me eating and me showing you guys holiday stuff is my flop. So I don't know, but I'm gonna pull this toward me so that we can get started on putting this chair together. <laughs> I expected that to be so much heavier than it actually was. I was scared I was gonna see a scorpion for a second. I was like, mm. okay. Here it is. I don't know why I'm out of breath already. I've not done a thing, but it's fine. It's fat. It's fine. Okay, so let's start by opening this up. Um, this chair is just okay. This is hard to take off. This is just a white chair. I got it for my room where I do my makeup. Um, ooh, I should have got a. Okay, let me just not talk into this. Hold on. Got it. All right, so I got this for my makeup room, the room I do my makeup in, whatever. This is what it looks like right there. It's supposed to look like this. We'll see what it looks like when I put it together. Um, but yeah. Oh, oops. So I have had this for a minute now. I've just not taken the time to actually put it together. Um, I got it from Amazon. Because Amazon's great. Wow, this is gonna be so easy. They made our lives so easy, guys. Look, we literally have two pieces. You probably just have to like screw this on or something. But this is great direction. Follow the directions, guys, so that you don't have to rely on me to show you how to do it because like I am not good at this stuff, but I mean, I try. All right, so it says that we got this. We got this. And we got some little screws that are in this little baggie right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is take off the plastic that are on these that's on these legs. Right, and now we have this chair. It's pretty sturdy feeling. The wood feels good. Not mad at it. Um, I'll put the link of this chair or to this chair in my description in case any of you guys want it. Um, be sure to purchase from the link, you know, so that you can use my little code thing. Whatever it is. I've never, I don't think I've ever had anyone actually follow my link. So try it. We'll see if it works. <laughs> I don't know what it does. I don't know how it works, but I'll put the link to my stuff or whatever there and we'll see what happens, you know, if you happen to click it and use it. So this is the Alonza series plastic chair with a wood base. Before you begin, please identify all component parts and hardware pieces required before you begin to remove all the components from the testing personally assemble on a soft surface to prevent scratching during assembly. I think my carpet's soft. Caution, tighten all components securely before you failure to do so may result in personal injury. Do not use sharp, any sharp objects to open plastic wrap components as damage to product or components may result. Choking hazard. Okay, I don't think this is actually giving me any directions. 
the hoe. This is actually the directions. Okay, cool. I just have a picture to go off of, which is great because I'm kind of spatial, so I can go off pictures. That's fine. So A, this. All right, then we're going to put item C. Okay, let's separate this. I'm going to just separate these real quick. So these are item C. Okay, so these are C, four of these things, four of E. So this is E, four of these. We have four of D and these are D. They're super duper tiny little circle things. I totally have a hair on my hand. I need a vacuum, but yeah, I'm just slacking on the vacuuming. We have, um, this is F. Okay, we have four of them. And then we have our little driver thing. Yeah. Okay, figured it out. I figured it out, guys. Figured it out. Okay, got it. Okay. Give me one sec. I'm gonna put this together and then I will show you guys exactly how it's supposed to be done. And then it screws in together but of course this black thing needs to be in between this and that first silver circle thing this is how it looks okay let me try to hold you guys there in place and then you just screw this one in whenever you can you're gonna go in with this one to just tighten it up but like i said they positioned it kind of weird so and that's how you're gonna secure your chair in place First step we've learned is take off the white thing. I thought that that was gonna be there to like cushion or you know something, but apparently it's not necessary. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the black one and this is C and we're gonna place it on top of the silver right here. Okay, so it's gonna fit in perfectly. Next, we're gonna take E and that's gonna go on top of this black part. So I slid down. This black piece right here, it kind of lifts off while I go, I went ahead and just placed it right on top of this part. Okay. And now I'm going to take the silver part, which is E I said. Okay. And I'm just going to cover this black part and I'm going to take D, place it on top of that silver one I just did. And now I'll take the screw place it on there. I'm going to start screwing it in with my hands and then whenever it's tightened enough, I'll go ahead and go in with this little owl-shaped driver thing. I'm going to start this way because it fits better. Then whenever that's too tight, I'll go ahead and work it this way and it feels like that's pretty secure. So now I just have one more and then we're done. So that off and I'm going to take the white part off. You guys, I'm such a pro at this now. It takes a couple times, you know? I'm going to take the black one, okay, we're going to place it right here, take my silver one, the bigger one, make sure it's on the flat, oh, actually, sorry, I lied, totally lied, bring that black one, you just kind of set yourself up for success, and, you know, set it up before you even put it on, and that'll just make your life a little bit easier, go ahead and put the screw in, tighten it up a little bit, enough to where it gets tight enough so where you can't do it again. So then you go in with this one and I'm not gonna, gonna even try to go in this way because it just does not let me. So we'll just go in here and tighten it up until it doesn't let me tighten it up anymore. This is the chair, okay. This is the chair I just put together. So simple, I got it from Amazon. 
feel free to click the link in the description to get your own. It was really cheap. Don't remember how much it was, but I know it was not expensive at all or else I wouldn't have bought it. Um, behind my chair, I do have my tree still <laughs> and all my ornaments. I totally haven't put them away since that short of me putting my tree down. So yeah, but this is a chair. I should probably test to see how sturdy it is. Feels pretty sturdy. Okay, ignore the crazy mess in here. Okay, that's totally like my license in the corner. But anyways, um, this is the chair. So cute. Um, yeah, if you've never seen the chaos behind the scenes of my videos, like this is it. Disgusting. Um, definitely need to go through and clean everything. But this is the chair. And this is me in the chair. So I think sit the chair is a success. Everything's good. Um, yeah, this is my backdrop behind me. And yeah, I just need to clean up this room. This room needs to get itself together, which is why I got the chair to maybe motivate me. I got the backdrop to maybe motivate me. I set up my ring light to maybe motivate me. But I just have a ton of purses everywhere. I have like junk everywhere like things i just need to go through and trash because i just have way too much like this is like my clutter room and as you can see even the part that is kind of together which is like the makeup part is not together so i need to get this room together because i had plans for this room and the plans just are not happening i did everything that i needed to do um outside of my home so i think that i'm done for the day i was supposed to put a video up yesterday because i was trying to do the friday thing but i went to oklahoma this past weekend to visit my family and i ended up not even filming or posting a video before so this is gonna be the video i owed you yesterday and then i'll have to film another one for next friday but yeah, this is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe, watch my shorts, subscribe to my TikTok or follow my TikTok. Um, post my shorts on there too. And follow me on Instagram. Everything is Lisa Nicole Gomez, so it's super easy to find. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. God bless.